Hello, I'm Stacy Westfall, and I'm here to introduce the new Weaver Egg and Spoon. And the Egg and Spoon class at local horse shows has always been one of my favorite classes to ride in. With the original Egg and Spoon, you would use a plastic spoon and a real chicken egg, and you would be in a competition to see who could ride their horse for the longest with the egg not falling off the spoon. A couple of the downsides to the original egg and spoon idea were that the eggs would break, potentially on your horse, on your saddle, and usually on the ground for sure if you drop them. Because of you dropping them and then breaking, it made them not very reusable. And the reason I really like the class was because of what it teaches people. When you pick up any kind of an object, if you pick up an egg and spoon and you need to balance it, or if you pick up a glass of water, or if somebody has you balance a book on top of your head and walk, those things make you a lot more aware of how you're using your body. And when we ride on the horses, one of the most common new rider issues is getting the person to the point where they can have their seat on the horse and their hands moving independently. Because as we move up in speed on the horse, as the horse moves, if our hand doesn't move independently of our seat, if our body's kind of frozen together, if we clamp, then what happens is our hand bounces with our seat and your hand needs to learn how to float out here in front of you. And to get your hand to learn to float out here in front of you, it's fun to use some tools that help you really focus on getting that hand to balance out there. Because this hand is directly holding on to his mouth. Because the bit is in his mouth and the reins come back, when we make contact with him, our hands need to be smooth. So as you watch him being ridden, you need to watch for a rider that has a nice smooth hand no matter what gait we're in. A real fun way to do that is with an egg and spoon. The advantage of this weaver egg and spoon, there are several. One is that because it's not a real egg, it doesn't break. There's not the mess or the expense of replacing it. And the fun thing is that if it does fall off, then what happens is it's tethered to the handle so that you can easily go ahead and replace that and continue practicing. Because as you get better and better at this, what you want to see is you want to see as that horse moves, even if that horse is kind of bouncy in the trot, you want to see that rider's ability to keep that egg nice and smooth because that's the same thing you'd be doing with your rein hand. Your rein hand should look nice and smooth. When you first pick up the egg and spoon, another nice feature of this Weaver egg and spoon is that it has three different degrees of difficulty. The cup is actually interchangeable, so we can change it from a very deep cup to a medium and then down to this shallow, which is the more advanced cup. And so if you're using this egg and spoon with children, you can start it out with the beginner. And as you get better, you can move it up all the way to the advanced and you can begin to do multiple things with it. So in the case of myself and Vaquero, if we're wanting to challenge ourselves, we're in more of the advanced category. It's going to make me focus on multiple things. So right now what I have to do is I have to think about how I'm going to position my horse for a lead departure and how I'm going to keep my hand nice and smooth, how I'm going to ask him for that lead departure. And I'm going to keep everything nice and smooth. At first, when you're learning to do this, if you need to stand up in your seat, if you need to stand up in your stirrups a little bit, you'll find that it's going to teach you how to use your legs as a shock absorber, and then eventually you're going to use your waist as a shock absorber. Can you stop your horse nice and smooth? Can you steer him around? These are some of the more advanced things that you can practice with the egg and spoon.